is a key to survive. Have faith, let the spirit guide you. If you ask, I believe. Shabbat Shalom, praise the most high y'all. For you all joining us today uh, for our uh, word study. Uh, or, or, or our weekly message on the Shabbat. Hallelujah. Uh, our Elohim is awesome. We had an excellent time today uh, in our Torah class, learning the Noah and certain words, what certain words mean in Hebrew. Um, you know, Yahushua our Hamashiach, uh, 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 Yahushua our Messiah. You know, uh, of him, um, of him, um, you know, uh, giving his life for us. We see what Isaiah 42 said about the spirit of me who is upon me, for he has anointed me to proclaim the Bessorah, the good news, to give sight to the blind. You know, we've we, we seen that, we see how Yahushua in uh, Luke uh, 4, coming into the synagogue after, after being tipped of the adversary, he provoked war. He started, started a war. He, yes. You know, we're in the spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he comes to give sight, but the church is so sleep and gullible and naive. They trying to wake up your open your blinded eye mm. and your spiritual mind is blind as all get out. Mm. You know, mm. you know the most high want to help us to be able to see His word, see Him, see His way, and not our way. You know, so praise the most high for that. Today we're gonna to start in, 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 in part one point five <laughs> <laughs> of my lesson, the ten words. Uh, for the past uh, three weeks, we have had Pastor Karen uh, teaching the scriptures. Teaching, te teaching us um, for the past three weeks uh, 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 of her beautiful lessons that she has been giving to us. You know, um, when she came and, uh, uh, and taught and, 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 and taught and taught some lessons, sprung off from the spirit behind the voice. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, then she came back with a lesson called "Who Called You?" You know, and then asked you uh, spirit behind the voice again to the, your legitimacy. Are you a son or are you a bastard? You know, and, 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 and the reality is many of us won't say we sons, we mm. bastards. Mm -hmm. mm. You know you come on. You can become a son, just turn, receive your inheritance. Tashuva, repent, turn from your sins back to the most high Yah, receive Yahusha uh, as the Messiah, be reconciled back to Yah and the Most High will give you the spirit of a mortis. Uh, the spirit of adoption. Uh, the Apostle Paul says, you have not received the spirit of, of fear uh, again that brings you into abundance, but you have received the spirit of adoption. So you can become a son, but you got to be led by his Ruach HaKodesh. Because the scripture says, those who are led by the Ruach right. are the sons of Yah. So if you live by your own emotions, your own flesh, your own mind, said that you may not be a son. Because the son will be obedient to what the Father says. The, the, the Messiah comes and says, he, he do what his father commands him. Let me explain something to you. And we're going to pray and we're going to get into the scriptures. On her last, uh, uh, this was defects. You know, false and flaws. Ma uh, 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 matter turn and behold. <laughs> Man, she, 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 she put, me, put the pressure on me. <coughs> she showed up teaching the scriptures. Mm -hmm. right. Praise the most high y'all though because we need that. Many of us, you know what I'm saying, don't even understand the word of God. We, we're so full of flaws and shortcomings, man. We need to get ourselves together. You know, because we're so negative. Don't even pray. We say we pray, but don't pray. And if we do pray, we pray amidst at times. So we pray so much, talk so much, we don't sit down and shut up or, or be quiet to allow him to speak to us. He just give and take our running. But I'm talking to my sons. I can't stand, and my daughters, and even my wife. You know, I can't stand while I'm talking to them, they're walking away from me. No, I'm, with, I'm, I'm trying to have a conversation. Look at me. And then even in the conversation, if it's pressure on you because you don't like what's being said, or you feel in your patience and get impatient with me, try to tell you, convey my message, shame on you, be still. And this is what I got to say in regards to how you feel about it. That's how the most high probably feel when he's trying to tell us about ourselves and how we've been mm -hmm. seen and our doubt you know. We want to, can't handle that. Be like Phil trying to tell Paul, be quiet, man. You, you're saying too much. Because Paul's speaking of obedience. 
Amen. Yes, hallelujah. Let's, let's pray so we can go on down to the scriptures. This is, this is 10 words, part 1, point 5. The continuation right, of part 1. We're going to have a three-part series, prayerfully. Hallelujah. Probably four. We don't know yet. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. So, Almighty God, we thank you for your mercy and your loving kindness. We ask you to keep uh, forgive us of our sins. Almighty God, forgive us for all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Teach us how to walk in truth. Yeah, forgive our forefathers as well for their unrighteousness and sins. And help us to forgive those who have sinned against us. Yeah. Teach us your word. Give us the truth. Give us the spirit of understanding and the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of counsel and might and knowledge. Give us instruction. Bring forth your word through me. But help me to humble myself and not get beside myself thinking it's me teaching when it's actually you that's teaching. Yes, sir. Give me my vocal accords. Help me to stand in the spirit of boldness. Not conceit nor arrogance, but boldness to tell the truth. And whoever gets offended at your word, then let them get offended. We don't apologize for telling what you said. Help us to be holy and righteous before your presence, Almighty God. Kodesh. Yes, Father. And Zadik before your presence. So we thank you and we just praise you for being our strength. And we magnify you for being our salvation. We just pray this prayer in Yahushua's name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Most High is awesome and good. So, we, we, so we, we're, we're dealing you all um, again with the ten words um, that the Most High has given us. We're going to just bring out a few of them, but I'm going to try to read all of them, and then we're going to expound or teach on a few of them. So I'm going to read from the King James today, but I'm, I'm so we can um, <laughs> get it out, and we're going to also, we're going to also. Uh, just spread some stuff out so people can have an understanding. So it says, and Yahuwah, uh, Exodus, Exodus uh, chapter 20, uh, beginning at verse 1, until we get done with 10 words. The name of this message is uh, 10 words, the teachings of Yah, the commandments of Yahuwah. Everything from your entire Torah springs off these 10 words. Yah's message by 10 is just system. Springs from these. The foundation of this is love. Mm. Yeah, Husha says, you know, uh, Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Elohim, Yahuwah Echad. Here is Israel. Yahuwah is our Elohim. Yahuwah is one. And you are to love Yahuwah with all your mind, all your might, all your resources. He, he said in the second one is likened to the first one. What's likened to it? Ahava? Love your neighbor? As yourself. Right. So David said, don't bear a grudge, but rather love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. And on this hangs all the Torah and the prophets. They spoke out of love. Y'all gave his word out of love. Everything's based on love. You respond to him out of love. So and Yahuwah spoke all these words, saying, I am Yahuwah. Excuse me, Elohim speak all these words, saying, I am Yahuwah. Your Elohim, which I brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. <clears throat> Thou shalt have no other Elohim before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, and a jealous El. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me or disobey me or disobedient to me. And showing mercy unto the thousands of them that obey me, love me, and keep my commandments. Thou shalt take heed, excuse me, thou shalt not take the name of Yahuwah thy Elohim in vain. For Yahuwah will not hold him guiltless and take of his name in vain. Remember the seventh day to keep it Kodesh, holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of, of Yahuwah, mm -hmm. thy Elohim. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy man servant, nor thy maid servant, Hallelujah. nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger mm -hmm. 
That is within our gates. Y'all forgive me, forgive us for not obeying your commandments to the fullest. For in six days Yahuwah made the heaven and the earth, the sea and all that was in them, and rest the seventh day. Wherefore Yahuwah blessed the, the, the seventh day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which Yahuwah, um, your Elohim, give thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Hallelujah. Praise Yah for his words. This is the ten words. Um, he says he, 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 he revealed himself when the Most High first revealed himself to Israel. At the foot of the mountain. And what I mean is, he didn't speak this to Moses. When Moses I called Moses, Moses had his father in law's sheep tending to him. He was the shepherd. And he was on the backside of the desert. We ain't finna do the old funky church uh, lies. You gotta be on the backside first for y'all to call you. You could be anywhere the most I call you. <laughs> and he call you in his time. Not your time. But you didn't learn how to listen to him speak to you. <laughs> Get past people and grow up. And people didn't shut up too. Telling you what he did and didn't do for you. It, 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 because the most high speaking, you, you gotta humble yourself. Yeah. Only if Ellie would have listened to Samuel. Right. <laughs> Woo, we still. He still be here. <laughs> well, he would have been dead right now, but he would have still lived. He would have been George. He would have been George. So he calls him. Speaks to him and tell him to go. You know, he, and we're going to get into that a little bit uh, later. But he, he, he goes. But this time when he brings them out of bondage, he speaks his own word out of his own mouth to them. They hear him. He made them tremble, but they heard him. Mm -hmm. They never asked Moses, hey, you stop for us. But he spoke it. Right. Mm -hmm. We got to pay attention to this power in there. And the first thing he said, when he when he when, uh, when, uh, when he really said when he when he when he, when he, when he uh, brought them out, he said his name was Yahuwah Elohecha. This is a you the hey a vav and a hey. That's Yahuwah. And then and this is Aleph a lama a hey a you and a um, a cough. You know, and that's Elohecha. Yahuwah Elohecha, which means translated in English. I am your Yahuwah, your Elohim. Or for better words, I am Yahuwah of Elohim. He's a father. Okay. And so now listen with this. So, so the first thing he does when he calls him, the Most High identifies himself to our forefathers as, and to us as the deliverer out of bondage. He reveals himself to that. I'm Yahuwah, your Elohim. Who brought you out of? So he reveals himself as Yahuwah, our Elohim. Hallelujah. Maybe you didn't know it. Israel, let me say this to you. Those who are native born and those who are got to the end, if you don't know his name, his name is not God. His name is most definitely not Lucifer. <laughs> Master Mo or Allah. Mm -mm. Or oh, Baal. Or Baal. His oh, name right. is Yahuwah. You want to try to pronounce how you want to, then get the you, the hay, the bob, yeah. and the hay, and, and, and then pronounce it. Go to the paleo, the pictograph, or whatever. But his name is Yahuwah. You will say Yahweh, Yahuwah. How you want to say it? Yahweh, whatever. His name, his authority, his character. Yeah. He revealed to Yahshua his character, who he was. Thank you, Abba. When he, when he said his name, he revealed to him the arm that brought them out. Because he brought them out by his power. By the strength of his right hand. By his power. Mm -hmm. And he reveals to us the same day, today, mm -hmm. as he did our forefathers. He is the one that brings you out of bondage. He's the one that's going to bring you out of this mortal Babylon. He's the one that's going to bring you out of your sin. Whether you're an adulterer or a crackhead, a false preacher. Mm -hmm. or a whore. Male or female. 
You know, whether you hold grudges, bitterness, whether your money hunger, whatever sin you deal with, he's the one that brings you out. Mm. Not yourself, you didn't do it by yourself. So they're being known, his name is Yahuwah Elohecha, meaning Yahuwah, your Elohim. That's the identification pattern. I'm Yahuwah, your Elohim. Hallelujah. 20, verse 1 through 5 in the CFR, it says this, and Elohim spoke. When I say Elohim, I'm talking about the plurality of, 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 of the, the, the Elohim. You know, which is the Father and the Word, and maybe the Malachim that was with him, the Council of the Most High Yah. And Elohim spoke all these words. The whole Elohim identified who the Father was from the get go. Just like Yahushua, when he comes on the scene, he always identifies his Father. Him and the Father are ha, meaning the right. same accord, meaning right. they're hooked. But he not, he's not the Father. He's the right. Yahi, the Son of the Father. Right. He don't command. Yahushua don't command himself. The Father commands Yahushua. Right. To do. So the whole Elohim identifies who he is. I am Yahuwah Elohim, which brought you out of the land of Misraim, the land of bondage, the place of servitude, the place that's harsh for you. Out of the house of bondage, you shall have no other Elohim before me. He said, He letting them know this. And I want you to understand this, that in Exodus 12, where he talked to Moshe about the first Pesach, he tells him, I'm going to go destroy all the Elohim of Misraim. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh's the, the firstborn of all Egypt also as well. You're going to have this piece of unleavened bread. You're going to remove sure. the matzah. You're going, you're going to remove the leaven out of your homes. So what he was saying was, I'm going to destroy every, every, every Elohim, bring you out of sin, and give you my commandments. That's peace out with, with unleavened bread and then shallow oat. But shallow oat was just a pickup. Because shallow oat was, was, was already celebrated in heaven according to Jubilee 6. Amen. So anyway, so out of the house of bondage, and you shall have no other alley before me, you shall not make unto you any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not worship you should not bow. So I don't, I don't start saying no one's falling to the foot of the cross. Because <laughs> the cross is a graven image. Mm -hmm. It is. We'll go to Deuteronomy in a minute and read to you. Pay attention. So it, it, it says, it, it, it says, mm. you shall not bow down yourself to them, nor serve them. Mm -hmm. I, Yahuwah, your Elohim, am a jealous El. Visiting the iniquity, the lawlessness, the wrongdoing of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation. So he says, I'm Yahuwah Elohim. And he says, he says, I'm a jealous El. And he's visiting the iniquity. That word iniquity is the Hebrew word Avon. It's an A and a Vav in, in a, a final noon. It says Avon. So, so, so the, your, your perverseness. Your mischievousness, your, 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 your bad morals, he going to deal with you on that, being perverted, right, right. having things out of whack, mm. you know, praise y'all. So let's turn to Deuteronomy chapter 4, due to, due to a wrong old man, chapter 4. I want you all to listen to this before I before I uh, go in the fall. I want to read chapter four, verse one, right quick, and then we're going we're going we're going to get into these ten words and, and give a better understanding of some things. But chapter four, verse one says this: Now, therefore, Shema, the word hearken, right there. You know, the Shema. He had been saying Shema. He kept saying Shema. He wants you to listen, because when the Most High speaks, it's important for us to listen. He yeah. wants you to get it. He wants you to have ears that you hear him with. Not ears you hear but don't perceive, don't understand, don't adhere to. So Shema, what he said. Now therefore hearken, O Yahshua, unto the statues. The word statues, it's the word hope, which is a head and a cough. 
Listen to the appointed time. Listen to the commandments. Listen to my decree. Listen to my ordinance. My, or, my ordinance. Would you listen to my ordinances and unto my judgments. The word judgment is mispout. Mispouting. Listen, listen to my divine law. Listen to my justice. This is the most highest justice. Why is he saying this? Because the world is, is outlawed. The adversary is an outlaw. Lucifer is an outlaw. He's a rebel. Mm -hmm. And the planet you are on is a fallen planet. Mm -hmm. So he got the whole mankind living perverse from the Torah of Yah. We're in a war zone. This is spiritual warfare. He comes to fight to let you know who he is. So he gives you his justice system to tell you do not follow the world's justice system. At that time, Yasharal came out of Egypt and that was used to Egypt's justice system even though it was treated harsh. So like today's modern Hebrews in America and, and throughout the, the four countries, the world wasn't designed for you. Even the third verse, they don't start to expect a banner if you stand up and they got so mad at calling for nothing for the third verse call you a slave. They never did remove it. But see, you know what? It's not revised yet. But here it is. You still treat it unfair. <laughs> Pay attention to reading when you, in your spare time. Which I teach you to do them, that you may live and go in and possess the land which your who your Elohim or your fathers give you. I can tell you something. You shall not add to the word which which I command you. Neither shall you diminish or make little out from it, uh, that you may keep it. The commandments of Yahuwah your Elohim, which I command you. It says, you have not, it says, so you have not seen what Yahuwah did because of Baal Peor. For all the men that followed Baal Peor. You have seen. It said, for you have <laughs> seen, sorry. Thank you. What Yahuwah did because of Baal Peor. For all the men that followed Baal Peor, Yahuwah, your Elohim, mm. destroyed them from among you. Fornicators, idolatry, idolatry. We're going to start listening to our tour class on that in about a few months. I'll be done with our spiritual warfare lesson about yeah, pornography yeah, and fornication yeah, so we can get an understanding yeah, of who you live Verse 6 says this Keep therefore and do them his commandments, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely. This great nation is wise and understanding people. Why? The adversary is trying to tell you don't follow the Torah or keep the commandments because he don't want you to have wisdom and understanding. But we don't, we don't, we don't take heed to that. Because we think we, we, we think that on our own thoughts, wisdom within ourselves is true wisdom. When really your wisdom in yourself makes you a fool. Because your own selfish wisdom causes you to disobey Yah. And he's the one that brought you out. You didn't do it by yourself. Right. Mm. I want you all to hear this. 4 and 10, Deuteronomy says this, Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Yahuwah your Elohim, and horror, when Yahuwah said to you, Gather me the people together, and I will make them to hear my words, to Shema, my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth and that they may teach their children. And you came in and stood under the mountain and the mountain burned with fire until the midst of the heaven with darkness, dark darkness clouds and thick darkness. And Yahuwah spake unto you out of the midst of the fire and you heard the voice of the words but saw no similitudes. Only you heard a voice. There were a similitude in the Hebrew. It's the word temuna. So you so so it, it means a, a shape or a phantom right. or something embodied or a manifestation or an image or a likeness. You didn't see none of that. You heard this word. 
So he spoke to you faith. Not you to look at something to have faith, mm. but you to hear what he says and to have faith. 4.15 says this then. Therefore, take ye therefore a good heal to yourself. For you saw no manner of uh, a similitude on the day that Yahuwah spake unto you in horror out of the midst of fire, lest you corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image. Mm. The similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, or the likeness of, of any winged fire that, that fly up in the air, or the likeness of anything that creep up on the ground, or the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth, Lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, should be driven to worship them and serve them, which Yahuwah your Elohim hath divided unto all the nations under the whole heaven. And I read that to say this a cross, a fish symbol, a dove flying with a leaf in his mouth. Those things do not represent Yah in no shape, form, or fashion. That's a man made. Doctrine is idolatry. Right. You respond by faith, not a fish symbol. Yeah. Let me give you a fish symbol. Where did the scripture do it say that? Foolish man, why make up something to add to your own stupidity? Uh -huh. Humble yourself and walk before the Most High Yah and hear His words speak to you and not be led by your own vain imaginations. Woman, too. Because woman gives aside us every time on the book of man. And she know how to yield herself. Mm -hmm. Children too. <coughs> yeah. And some of that's from that man because he's so stubborn he want to yield for submit from God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he leave his position also. Mm -hmm. So everybody out of whack. Okay. Because nobody wants to follow Yah. Okay. Who's the head of Hamashiach? Yah. Mm -hmm. Who should be that man's example? So you got a, 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 a marriage where a man can't honor his wife and love her as when Shia love her in the community, he's not following y'all. You got a woman who can submit to her husband, show him respect, she don't follow y'all. I don't care how much you want to go dance, shout, do the splits and speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. Your husband's above your pastor. Your pastor don't, 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 don't run your husband. He's a shepherd, he's a sheep himself. Mm -hmm. And if, if any pastor wants to tell you to do what he said about your husband, you run from him before you run, <laughs> kick him in his tail. There ain't no such thing as the order of y'all being broken. Any other leader. Hallelujah. Any leader. No, ain't no such thing as spiritual father. That's crap. That's true. That ain't scripture. Spiritual father is supposed to be, you love spiritual father when you're on your own. That's your mother and father. Show me in the scripture. Because your man made tradition, you make y'all bring on the faith. You call people to leave their families, not respect their mother and their father for your stupidity. Grow up, man. I will call your name. I'll write in a minute. I don't care. Because the reality is, you teaching false doctrine. Putting yourself up arrogant. And that's when, when your mind ain't even can't come here as the most high speaker. You. And you're the smartest. You're the dumbest. You know why? Because never can necessarily say he was the smartest. Look what I've done. And as he was speaking his word, his mind was taken from him. Found themselves naked seven seasons later, eating grass and long thinking as long hair naked. Realized he was the most high y'all. Hallelujah. So a cross symbol does, should not represent the most high Yah. It does not. A fish symbol. No. He spoke to you by his word. The only thing that represents Yahuwah, our Elohim, or, or, or Yahuwah Elohim, their Elohim, Yahuwah Elohim, your Elohim, it's his word. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And his word above his name. When he was talking to Nicodemus, he told him, if I be lifted up, he put him in a position of faith by giving him Numbers 21 about walking by faith. Your praise and shout does not lift up him. His, your faith does. Yes. And when, when, he, when, when, when he was meaning, if I lift it up, he's meaning right. his crucifixion on that stake. Yeah. His lynching Tell the truth. is what's going to draw all men because you realize who he is. Every week I say, I'll back to y'all. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I know that we see, you know, some people say, I hire, and I'm not, I'm not knocking 
you know, my, 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 bro, my brothers, you know, who say Ahaya or Yashaya, I'm not knocking them in no form or fashion. We command to love y'all. Mm -hmm. and, love, and love each other. And I love my brothers. But I got to speak to scripture to what it says. You know, uncompromisingly. Mm -hmm. Because he says in Exodus uh, 3 and 14. When, 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 well, let, let me go to 3 and 13. It says in Moshe and Moses, it is the King James. <laughs> and Moses said unto Elohim, Behold, when I come unto the children of Yasharal and say unto them, the, the Elohim of your fathers have sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, mm -hmm. what is his name? Mm -hmm. What shall I say unto them? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and Elohim said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Yasharal, I am, have sent me unto you. So what he said was that word, I am. What does that mean? This is a hey. This is, this is a hey. This is a, this is a yod. And that's a hey. That's the Hebrew word, um, haya. Haya. So he says, Haya. That word, Ya. Mm. Is in there. Haya. <laughs> this word in the middle is an olive, a shim, and a, and a, a, a resh. That's the Hebrew word for that. It's share. We're going to just go to the Hebrew and we're going to pronounce it and say it. So the Hebrew word for that, in Hebrew, the, English, the English word that is T H E. It's a shear. It's an olive, a shim, and a rich. It's a shear. It's the Hebrew word that. So it's it's um it's a, a who or or, or a, a, a where or how or because it's an order. A higher. A share. Higher. I am that I am. It's what he said he was. So he did say, I am that I am, meaning, not necessarily his name, but meaning I am what I will be, where I want to be it. So. Because he didn't tell him his name, he said, I am. So when they asked, when they asked uh, uh, what's his name, he was identifying who he would be, what they need for him to be in the time that they need him to be that. At this moment, he is the deliverer. He 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 comes as L. L. Young. That's who he comes as, the Most High, as a mighty warrior. So he says, "A higher, a share, a higher. I am that I am." Hallelujah. And then, so he says in verse 14, you should tell them, Ahia have sent me. So our Hebrew brothers are right when they say Ahia, because he did say his name was I am. So they're not wrong for that. But he also said his name was something else. We're going to read that right here. And Yahuwah, excuse me, and Elohim said moreover unto Moshe, thus that shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Lord God. And I said the Lord God for a specific purpose. And we're going to bring that in a second. <laughs> of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Yaakov, have sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. So he said the Lord God was his name. So what does that mean? Well, that word Lord... It's the Hebrew word Yahuwah. Yahuwah. It's a U, it's a hey, it's a Vav, it's a hey. The Vav has a, 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 a digestion in the middle of it that gives you the who sound. The Yod is the, it's the um, I forgot, I ain't got my, uh, my vowels. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it has the two, that's the only general, what's it called? The Shiva. The Shiva, which is the yay. Yay. Who? Because you got the hey with the, with, 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 you see this, oh, no, no, let me face that. You, 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 the, 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 the Vada doesn't have the negation in the middle. The Vada has the negation on the top. So you have the you, you have the hey, you have the Vada that gets on top, you have the other hey, and the gets on top gets the who sound. The T shape on the bottom of a verb, of, of the nouns, give you nouns, you use the ah sound. So it is yeah. Yah, who are Yah, Yahwah, 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 So that word Lord there, when, 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 when Yah tells Moshe, I'm the Lord your God, he said, I am Yahuwah, and that word God is Elohim. Mm -hmm. The Elohim is an olive, a lover, a hay, a, 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 a you, and a meal. And that's the word Elohim. So he says, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. So, in the, so correctly, it says, And Elohim said more unto Moshe, Thus shall you say to the children of Yashorah, Yahuwah, your Elohim, excuse me, Yahuwah, Elohim of your father, Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Yaakov, and Elohim of, of the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of uh, Yaakov, or, or, or their Elohim. He, 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 and, and, and why he said I did? Because he's the Elohim of Abraham. And when Isaac prayed, he says, uh, El Shaddai, the Elohim of my father. Right. And when Jacob prayed, he says, El Shaddai, the Elohim of my father. Because Abraham, Yisha, and Yaakov did not know the name Yahuwah. They knew him as El Shaddai. The Almighty mm -hmm. Elohim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The highest one. Should die. Mighty El. God. <laughs> the Almighty God. Yeah. Hallelujah. So he reveals himself as Yahuwah. Elohecha. Your Elohim. Who brought you out of the house of bondage. So before we go any further, we must first get his get this together of what his name is. So if you want to say a higher, I am. Let's go ahead and say it. It's all good with me. <laughs> you want to say uh, 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 Yahuwah? <laughs> you can go ahead and say that too. <laughs> and you don't have to have a stick, a tree, a bird with a feather, a, 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 a flying down. A, a, you don't have to have a, um, a, a fish. All you got to do is have his word. For him to identify who he is in your life. Yeah. For his people. You know why? Because we don't have a word. He on his word above his name. That's an amazing name. Praise Yah. So, 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 in Hebrew, we're going to read some English. And some Hebrew words at the same time, but they wrote in English. Uh, Exodus from Sephar, Exodus 3. 14 through 15 says this, And Elohim said unto El Moshe, A higher, a sure, a higher, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shall you say unto the children of Yashorel, A higher, I am, has sent me unto you. And Elohim said moreover unto El Moshe, Thus shall you say unto the children of Yashorel, Yahuwah Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim, of Yeshak and Elohai or Yaakov have sent me unto you this. Woo, he said, now look here, Yahuwah. And that's what he said. This is my name forever, perpetually. Don't never stop. Ain't gonna never stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. And this is my mentioning. Woo, did y'all hear that? This is my name. So that word memorial. We need to bring that word out then, don't we? This is my memorial, which is a, uh, a, 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 the Hebrew word, zikar, which is a, a, a zani, a kaf, and, and a resh. It's, it's a zikar. It's a memorial, remembrance, or the word sent. This, 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 is, this, this is how the children of Yashirah are to remember me forever. 
not by the name of God. Not by the name of Jehovah. By the name of Yah. Yahuwah. They want to tell you to don't, don't say his name. And they want to tell you, they want to tell you uh, that, that take his name in vain. It's saying that, so we're going to bring that out too by taking his name in vain. Because that's not what that means. Yeah. You want to remember his name forever. The Most High does not um, contradict himself. He's not going to tell you to remember his name and then tell you don't say his name and have a foolish people who are not, who are not the true Israel put a G-D instead of saying God or say Adonai instead of saying God because they're not the true people anyway. But anyway, back to the point. <laughs> you, African American, black man, Negro, you are the true Israel. Through the four corners of the planet, you are Israel. Know who you are. Don't like me, be mad at me. That's what I say. But I think you get all that stuff out of your flesh. Humble yourself. You pray that's the most high y'all. In sincerity and in truth to show you who you are for real. He'll show you who you are himself. It may take you to fast. Take you to pray. Take you to do research. But you are Israel. What tribe? I can't tell you what tribe. But what people who you are? You Israel. You're not black. So that's somebody that gave you. You're not a nigger. You're not an African American. You're not an Afro American. You're not a black American. You're Israel. You're not African. You came from out of Africa because we got put out of Jerusalem in 70 AD. Went down through northern Africa. Israel was a part of Africa until the 1600s. DNA. They made a man made canal called the Suez Canal. And they renamed it called the Middle East. Mm. But it came out to the every land. Hebrew is a Latin word. Hebraic is a Latin word. It's the every people. Mm. You came out of West Africa, Kotai Boa. You went into the transatlantic slave trade and the Sub-Saharan slave trade. And many other slave trade. You were dispersed throughout the four corners according to Deuteronomy 28. Look at your history. It goes back farther than 1619. Mm. Hallelujah. But he wants you to say his name. When, and when you wake up to yourself, you wake up to him. You wake up to, you don't wake up to yourself, say you Israel. You wake up to yourself, you wake up to him to turn to repentance and receive his Messiah that brings you back into his renewed covenant. Hallelujah. So again, Deuteronomy 5, 7, we already read it. It says, I am Yahuwah your Elohim, Yahuwah your Elohim, which brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim and you from the house of bondage. And you should have no other Elohim before me. Hallelujah. That's what I want to get to. Because I thought this would be important. To give you an understanding of, of what's really being said. The, the head of this thing says, live right before Yah. Because if you take God's name in vain, you're not living right. So Exodus, excuse me, Deuteronomy 5, 11, we're going to read it in the King James first. And then we're going to read it in the C4, then we're going to break out some words. So we can get an understanding. So Deuteronomy 5, verse 11 says this, Thou shalt not take the name of Yahuwah your Elohim in vain. Yahuwah will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. This word take. Well, let's go to the word not first. This word not is meaning, it's the Hebrew word low. It's a lama and an olive. Mean, it's, it's, it's a word low. So we shall never, is what he's saying. This is a commandment. We shall never. Lo, never take his name in vain. So it's bigger than just not. Man, don't do this. You ought, you ought not to do that. You ought never to do that. <laughs> not do it this time, do it the next time. You ought to never do it ever. ever. Take his name in vain is the Hebrew word nasa, nasa, uh, 
Oh, excuse me. Nasa, which which, which uh, is, 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 is a noon, a scene in the olive. It's a scene because of the guesses on the left side. So you shall you 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 shall uh, not take. You shall not stir up. You shall not uh, yield. You shall you shall not um, uh, bring his name in vain. Carry his name in vain. You shall not uh, exalt his name in vain. You shall not hold his name up in vain. You shall not magnify his name in vain. You shall not yield his name in vain. But the thing that the thing the thing that's so powerful. Is uh, is uh, the word name. We should not take his name in vain. That word name is the Hebrew word shem, or, or, or shame. It means his name, or his honor, or his authority. So we should not, we should never lift his name up, or his authority, or his esteem, or his honor, for naught in vain. The word vain. It's the Hebrew word shav. Shav. So we have a, a shem, a vav, and a, 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 an olive. And it, it, mean, it, it means, listen, it's a sense of desolating and evil. You should not ruin his name. You should not ruin his name morally. You should not live a destructive life. Mm. Especially guile, deceptive, false. So you should not, you should not leave his name vanity. So you shall not say you love Yah, worship Yah, but live contrary to what he's saying, because then you are taking his name in vain. He gonna deal with you. You can't be Israel and a homosexual. You can't be Israel and a liar. You can't be Israel and not love people. You can't be Israel and walk in bitterness. You cannot be Israel and live according to Baal's ways. You cannot be Israel and a Christian. You cannot be Israel and a Muslim. Because those things does not represent Yah. What do I mean? Because Christians worship Yah on Sunday. Show me in the scripture where that has changed. You can't use what he got on the first day. That's stupid. Mm. Maybe because there's it on Shabbat. And then they were, and they were already under an Easter before, uh, before he was crucified. So for you Christians who've been doing it, especially you say about you old pastors, y'all don't even read. Because how, and then, and then some of you bootleg false pastors who think you're intelligent and you want to rename it called uh, Resurrection, Resurrection Sunday. Sunday. You want to get t-shirts. You still in idolatry. First of all, Sunday is not a holy day, period. I cut my grass on Sunday. No Friday. <laughs> I go work. <laughs> Friday is not either. That's what the Muslim Friday Friday is. The Shabbat, the yeah. seventh day, Friday. is Friday evening to Saturday evening. Oh. So when you are a Christian and you worship in Sunday, what God are you worshiping? Oh, the sun God. You are worshiping Catholicism. You are worshiping the same God, Constantine, and the so-called church fathers. Jerome them. Worship. <laughs> the false pope. Yeah. Mm. And still. Worship. And still. The broken halo, the, the halo on those so-called people's head, the uh, immaculate conception <laughs> around their head was sun god worship. Yeah. And you know, they, 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 they deceive. Uh, 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 Gary Coleman and, and, and Robert Gillion when they made the movie The Kid with the Broken Hand back in the 80s. You know, we want to we, we wanna go to heaven. We want to get out of a halo with something you have to earn. I'll be damned if you got to earn something like that. I say it just like that. Because you are damned. Yeah. If you want to do that. Yes, sir. Damnation. So how you how you on oh, Sunday? It's all right. It's God. It's all good to eat it as long as you eat it in moderation. Oh God! It's all good to eat it as long as you eat it. Uh, uh, pray over it first. He came to destroy the law. You you a liar? Oh, don't that you don't want to offend nobody. I would you be mad at me because even though according to the scripture, the weak 
was the Gentile. The strong was the Yahudim. And the strong, the, 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 the Yahudim, who knows the truth, yeah, bear your infirmity. Not the other way around. The Gentiles, they'll be strong as the Jew. The Yahudim, the Israel. They might make think you you got you it's all against you now, but over time you will see the most high break through the clouds mm. and bring you mm. out as you turn. Yeah. You stop looking for Joe yeah. Biden, Kamala Harris, yeah. start trying to support Trump and all yeah. them and turn to the Messiah Thank and repent. You. you make it some deliverance. Right. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm I am i am not a Trump supporter, a Biden supporter, I'm a Yah supporter. Mm. Yeah, I support the most high Yah. I'm trying to twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You are not supposed to eat unclean foods, period. Boom. When you pay attention, Noah took seven pairs of clean animal, two pairs of unclean animal. When he got off the ark, he sacrificed all the clean animals. Yahuwah in, 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 in 17, they said that, that word meat. Well, I look at the word meat and flesh. You talking about meat. The Jubilees bring it out more clearer. The Hebrew brings it out even clearer than that. But he never said you could eat a pig's foot, chicken, and hog moths. Yeah. How to break hand. I'm going to eat it anyway. My mama, you will go to hell eating it anyway. You still have a heart attack. Yeah. yeah. You're praying over here. You still got uh, <laughs> high cholesterol. Or it's clogged. <coughs> Taking his name in vain. Doing these things. Taking his name in vain. Preaching the word of Yah. People get in line, these false prophets coming to these churches. And churches is such a, it's such a bad translation. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say it to where you can understand it. Coming to these churches, and, 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 and they give you $20, and you lay your hands, and you get, a, you get a word oh, yeah. from Yah. <laughs> but they don't, you don't get no money, you don't get no word. It's a blessing to keep on going. Right. But they want to get a hundred dollars be here. Ooh, he got, look here. He's going to be rich in the next two years, 15 months, 45 days. 37 seconds. I got that kind of word before. I ain't got my money yet. <laughs> a man in Tennessee, Eric Smith. You lied to my wife. You a false prophet. You said she going you she get fifty thousand dollars. She ain't got it. It's been over five, oh, eight years ago. Cause you're not a true prophet. And you ain't under the Sabbath. I named your name because you lied. I'm marking you. Don't listen to him. Corinth, Mississippi. Because you tell the truth when you teach word and quit trying to make yourself famous. God, false, idolatry, lying. Mm -hmm. It's taking y'all's name in vain. We better be very careful doing such things as that. And I, and I did name your name. Because people are afraid of people. I'm not going to be afraid of people. I'm going to tell the truth. Boldness. You don't feel comfortable saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway, because how mad you get. My forefather Abraham called Nimrod foolish. Ain't none of y'all mm -hmm. better than Nimrod. When he was a, a mm -hmm. murderer. He was showing up. The king of what? The king of Nimrod. He, 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 he better get Yah shook his fist. He did. Bastard. He was a bastard. I'm <laughs> a descendant of Ham, and I'm not a Hamite. I'm a Shemite. Yeah. Shemitic. Yeah. But I wouldn't have your name because it, it makes no sense. And, and, and guess what? Laugh me. Get mad at me. But why would you got a lot of people? Speak out of your own heart, out of your own feelings. Saying things that you should not be saying trying to appease people. Why? Be for real. We so dumb, we think it's an elevation from a, a prophet to an apostle. You're an apostle now. You're a prophet now. Come on, man. Try to, try, try to put certain offices in. In a, 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 some kind of ranking to make someone, someone look lower than you. Well, we all need one another. Titles. We all need one another. We're one body. Fit to join together. You need your pinky toe. And you need your toenail. Right. Let your pinky toe be gone or be hurt. You're going to walk with a limp with athletic feet. Your toe burn. Whoa, I got, you, you, want that, you want that skin to be okay. You need the skin around the pinky toe. Mm. You gotta have your heel. If you got anything added up on your heel, so this crust upon your heel, it brings pain. If you got anything added on your toe, cause a corn, it brings pain. If you got a bone out of place, cause a bunion, it brings pain. And some of y'all are spiritual corns, crusts, and bunions. 
heard the body of the Messiah. Trying to do your own thing instead of you trying to stand for what's right according to what y'all said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's stop taking y'all's name in vain. In the sense of desolation or evil, destructive. Who oh, I love y'all, but you a fornicator. Mm. I love y'all and you racist. Mm. How can you be a Caucasian person loving y'all but hating me? Think you are better than me. How can you be black? Well, Hebrew love y'all, but can't like don't like Caucasians. Right. Call all of them Esau. Mm. <laughs> they can't get they, they, you, you don't like them. You want to show your nose up. How, how we gotta forgive them trying to say with me to leave me alone over what y'all said? Don't fuss with me, fuss with y'all. And how can you get before him and pray and remain in the same state? Even when Isaiah saw him, he said, I'm undoing what was me. Yeah. I'm undoing. Yep. He was a priest of the temples from the tribe of Levi. Mm. He became a prophet. He is. Bring him out. Mentioning him, let's say his name. Mm. Let us read his, his scriptures. Isaiah 9, 17 again right. says this. Therefore, Yahuwah, therefore Adonai, therefore the master mm. shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy mm. on their fatherless, the bastards, and widows. For everyone's a hypocrite and an evildoer. Mm. Every mouth speaks folly. Mm. For all this is for all this, his anger is not turned away. He's not gonna hold you guilty. So you can take his hand in his vain. But his hand is stretched out still. Mm. Yeah, we gotta live right. Mm. We gotta get it right. Mm. Huh? Now how you instruct me? Teach me the way that I should go. Credit to our uh, Credit to our, our brother. Uh, ah, come. Yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> I like him. He's he flowing. Yeah. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Ah, come. If you hear this, much love to you. Can you pray to God for you? With humility. It convicts me. Mm -hmm. Formerly known as Sleep in the Flare. So, for some of y'all who don't know this. We can't hold his name in vain. We gotta live right. Hallelujah. We know who he is. We know he's a deliverer. He gave us his words. Let's live right. Am I perfect? By no means, from a standpoint of being sinless. But am I perfect from a Hebrew perspective as far as being whole? I pray that I am. I pray that I'm undefiled. I pray that I'm a just man before y'all. Like, the thing is, your approval don't mean nothing if y'all's approvals. Uh, 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 don't mean nothing. Your, you can say, man, you know what? Uh, your, your approval means nothing if y'all disapproves of me. Right. Mm. See, I don't care about what you say. Get mad at me. Yeah, man, I'm hurt. Yes, sir. Mm. You got some of these kings that the word says he did that which was evil. In the sight of y'all. In the sight of y'all or from y'all's perspective. Mm. You said some did that which was right from y'all's perspective. I already do that which was right God. And let you be my enemy. Come on, get around me with your arms. Brother Eliyahu said to Gehazi, Yah, open his eyes. You see, I'm surrounded by the arms of, uh, of an Elohim of hosts right now. Yeah, they, I got them around me. They, they protect me. And I'm going to perform Yah's will until he says uh, enough is enough. Praise Yah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shame of the Basura. Uh, Ecclesiastes 44 uh, says that we don't have to be ashamed. The Torah of El El Yon. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be ashamed to bring an understanding to, 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 to the wise and to the fool. We ain't got to be ashamed to correct our friend. Me calling your name, I don't mean I don't like you, I don't mean I hate you. I love you, want you to get right, and we'll talk to you about it. But when I apologize for the truth, you should apologize for lying. Mm -hmm. The thing is, that we need to stand firm in truth and live right. Hallelujah. Oh, I mess up a lot. But I learned how to fall down on my knees and I pray. Help me, y'all, to hear what you say to me. Help me to be humble. Walk in the spirit of humility. Your word says you resist the proud. You give grace to the humble. Y'all teach me how to be arrogant, conceited. Help me to love my wife, speak to her right. Listen to her when she speak to me. Love my children, not make a difference. To love my friends. Help me to uh, to come to to pass for the pass the people who are under me. 
to, to love them and I don't hurt them on purpose. Show me how to be a shepherd. But at the same time, y'all, I'm a sheep. I need your yes, help. Son. Show me how to live holy and righteous. Teach me and guide me. Help me, y'all, to have a bad motive for him and gender. Help me be pure hearted for you. Your word says, best are pure in heart, for they shall see you. Mm. She said, how to be meek. He said, we shall inherit the earth. Best are the poor in the spirit or the poor who have the Holy Spirit. For theirs, for there shall be a, what, what, what field. is that? Field. There shall be field. Now that's just the righteousness. For them. I got you. Bring it out. <laughs> but, I, but I pray daily, asking him to help me. Not just to, to, to teach the word, right. but to have a relationship. Right. And I'm telling you what we need to do, uh, you all, is, 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 is how we do our righteousness. What you should do is we should fast. We should pray for this is the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, the poor in the spirit. We should fast. We should pray. We should get in God's word. Deny our own self interest. Mm -hmm. Try, stop trying to study scripture to, to give a word to somebody. Yes, but right. study it also just to have a personal relationship. Mm. Yes, indeed. To know what he requires of you. That's what sheep do. That's what sheep do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. I want to go in through you. Who should have to find a pastor? Hallelujah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Exodus 20, 8 and 11 says this. Remember the day of Shabbat, or the Sabbath, to keep it holy, to keep it Kodesh, to keep it set apart. Six days shall you labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Shabbat of Yahuwah Elohecha. In it you shall not do any work. You nor your son, nor your daughter, your man servant, nor your maid servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger that is within your gates. For in six days Yahuwah Elohecha made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore Yahuwah blessed the day of Shabbat and hallowed it. He said, it apart. He hallowed it. Let's go to the King James and bring out some of this, some of this goodness of God's word. Hallelujah. So Yahushua says, uh, Yahu, Yahuwah says in Exodus 28, he says to remember, remember Zachar, as a Zadi, a Kaf, and a Rish again, right? To recognize, to be mindful of, meant to be remembered. Excuse me. It means to keep the Shabbat. The day of Shabbat is a holy day. The word holy is Kadesh. It's a cough, a, a dollar and a shim. It's to be, it, 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 it's to be a, a clean day, a consecrated day, a dedicated day, a hollow day, a sanctified day. So we have to remember this set apart, holy, hollow, consecrated day. We got to keep it holy. We gotta keep it purified. That's what it means. We should work every other day except for the day of Shabbat. Mm -hmm. The Most High blessed this day. So what does this? What, 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 what does the word rest mean? What does it mean rest? <laughs> well, let's go what it says in, in Hebrew. Hebrew word for rest. Means nuach. Nuach. A noom, a vowel, with the, the get you in the middle, and a, and a het. It means to be quiet on this day. It means to lay, let down, to remain, to be at, to give, to rest, to sit down. Hmm. To cease. So we ought to, we ought to cease from working. We are to cease from doing anything that's working on this day. We are to abandon the work. Run from the work on this day. That's, that's what it says, right? It says, so that's what rest means. And it's the day that y'all blessed. So it, it's the day that Yah barakht this day. Barakht. That's a bet. 
a wrench, and a, 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 a final cough. Barak, he blessed this day. He, 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 he gave this day in abundance to us. This is this is the day that y'all that, that y'all set aside for us to uh, uh, thank him. Listen, this is the day that y'all praised as a holy day, and then we praise y'all. <laughs> Not working. Have set aside time for him to reflect on his word. Hallelujah. Hmm. That's pretty good, I, I, I reckon, huh? Remember this day of Shabbat to keep it holy. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You verse. Did I go to the face? You got to Barak blessed it. And now uh, hallowed it. You finished it. You, you finished oh, it. no. One more word. Hallelujah. Hallowed, hallowed it. Mm. So he hallowed this day. It's a set apart day. So oh, I, I, I did it. Oh. Kadesh. He did the rocks. Okay. So this, this, this is a, a dedicated day, a set apart day, a day to keep. He hallowed this day. Right. It's a ceremonial day that we reflect on Yah, the first Moadim. Oh! This is the first Moadim? Is it the first appointed time? It is. Yeah. And we want to try to get rid of the first. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. Now in this case, Shabbat still first. Throughout all our generations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. <laughs> so praise Yah for his mercy. It's the 31, 15 through 16. Say so six days may work be done. But in the seventh is a Shabbat of rest. It's a set apart day of being quiet, being still. It's a holy day, set apart, it's called this sanctified day. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is a Shabbat of rest, holy unto Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Oh, now listen here now. This is his intention on. We're gonna read about it in a minute. You're not there with the force of this. You're telling the that you, you disregard the consumption. It's a difference. Because who said he did circumcision on Shabbat? Teaching, teaching the words. <laughs> but at the same time, he said if, you, if, if your ox is in a ditch on the Shabbat, you get him out here, you get him out. Yeah. If someone is sick and they need you to attend to them, yes, you will attend yeah. to them. If you were forced, but you said, but you, but you said, you know what? I'm going to work anyway. I got to get a little extra money. <laughs> My job called me out today to work. I didn't clock in. I didn't change clothes. And I definitely want for him to do no work. Right here, there you go. Take that. Because I know. And felt strange doing that. About ready to quit. But they already know I'm going to come to buy a needle. It was on call. But guess what? Because this is serious. I don't want to die. Mm -hmm. Not for, for acting presumptuously. See, it's this. Uh, uh, whosoever does any work in, in, in the Shabbat, he shall be put to death. Wherefore, children of Yahshua, God, keep the Sabbath and do and to do the Sabbath throughout. Go, go with this one and stop. Throughout. Throughout their generations for a perpetual, ongoing, Never stopping, everlasting covenant. This other was cut for them. Perpetual covenant. My example I'm going to use is going to be Numbers uh, 15. I love the word of Yah. Hebrews said it's sharper than any two edged sword. Hallelujah. Numbers 15, verse 30 through 35 says this. But the soul, the knee fish, the, the one that got the blood pumping through it, 
that does out presumptuously, whether he, he be born in the land or a stranger, whether he's of Yahudim, Israel, whether he's a Gentile, Goyim. The same reproaches Yahuwah, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people, because he has done what? Despised the word of Yahuwah, and has broken his commandment. Hmm. That's, that, that word, that word, word sticks out, huh? Anyway, um, that soul shall be utterly cut off, for his iniquity shall be upon him. And while the children of Yeshurah were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks up on the Shabbat. And they found him gathering sticks, brought him unto El Moshe and El Aharon, and said, excuse me, unto all the assembly, and they put him in ward, because it was not declared what should be done to him. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, This man shall surely be put to death. All the assembly shall stone him with stones without the camp. I don't want to die. I see it on purpose of the Most High God. The example they gave us Shabbat is dealing with the issue of sin, the intention of sin. Presumptuously, let's go to the King James. It's 15. Reading that verse 30. See, it's this. But the soul, the soul, the soul that does all presumptuously. What does that word presumptuously mean? It mean it's, it's the Hebrew word yod. It's a yon and a dollar. The soul that um, um that, that 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 breaks. Uh, the soul that forces, the soul that, uh, hmm. The soul that works. Presumption? Yeah, in the Hebrew. Um, it, 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 it means uh, somebody that, uh, that works, that fails to uh, observe. Um, it's a high handed sin. Someone who disregards. Right? Mm -hmm. Also, let's go to uh, I get the soul that, mo that, that moves from whatever Yah says. It says the soul, excuse me, this, this is what it says in, um, from the picture graph. You, 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 the picture graph Hebrew, you have a uh, the, uh, the yod just like a uh, like a like a like a L Y. <laughs> Can you have like a, a line with a, a straight line with like a little box up under it? It needs to throw him. Now listen to this. The picture graph of the L Y is the picture of a hand, and then the box, the little, the little line with the box up under it, is a picture of a door. That a, so it's a hand in the door that allows movement in and out. Of the tent, combine these. These mean hand moves, and so the hand is a part of the body that enables a man to perform many works. works. So the soul that acts presumptuously, the soul that does many works, has despised God's word if they work on the Shabbat. Hmm. We gotta always, I hear so many people, you hey, gotta be busy, stay busy, I say busy. Ah, 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 ah. Ecclesiasticus speaks about the, 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 uh, the farmer and the blacksmith and the, the, the person who's always working, doing something. So they won't even be found in the council of the righteous. They can't even understand Proverbs. They, they, they so they do their own thing. They fail to see. They fail to see, yeah, they don't, they don't take their time to just... Get it to him to understand grave speeches and dark proverbs, dark parables. Hmm. They can't. They don't try to dig for the word of God. They want to dig in their own thing. They can tell you all about what they do, <coughs> how we do it, how you do it, how you plow, how you shape the metal, how you mold the pottery or the clay. They can't tell you nothing about 
the truth of the scripture. They don't even live it. They don't even live it. They live <laughs> to be the blacksmith. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so now look here. So it said the soul that ought presumptuously. Would he be a stranger or mm -hmm. Israel? They have despised the word of Yah. This word despise is the word bazaar or bazaar or bazaar, which is a, 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 a cough, a, a, a zari in the hay. Oh, excuse me, a bed. A zari in the hay, sorry. A bed, thank you. A zari in the hay. So it's somebody who's a vile person. <coughs> Who scorns, who thinks to scorn, or uh, disesteem. So you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't uh, care. You, 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 you to be despicable. You to be vile. You to be worthless. You to, uh, so now check this out. So the soul that despises, uh, um, the enemy will plunder a household for goods. Supply themselves as a bird of prayer, Texas prey. That, 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 that you don't get, have regard for life. Hmm. Or it's a, the, the, the removal of what is value. Hmm. So you don't so, so so you don't hold value or make valuable Yah's word. You despise it. You should not live. Now listen, it, it deals with a man gathering sticks on the Shabbat. He's gathering sticks, sticks on the Shabbat. They get him, they take him to Moshe. Now look at this now. They take him to Moses. They found him, meaning, listen, listen they found him. If he was doing something openly, why they got to find him? It should, it should already be seen. So, he was in a place to not be seen. He was trying to hide. So they find him. <clears throat> gathering sticks. When they find him, they bring him to Moses. Moses didn't know if, if, if it was intentional or unintentional. We want to say, man, the God of the Old Testament was mean. No, he wasn't. Mm -hmm. He understood your heart. Yes, he knew why you did what you did. We're going we're gonna to read uh, Isaiah, go to uh, 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 um, Hebrews 4. Uh, I think Hebrews 4, is, uh, maybe 12 and 4, but try 12 and 4 first. Because the, the word of Yah is, is sharp and quick. Go to that. So, so now listen. They find him on the Shabbat gathering woods. Yahuwah said to Moshe, the man shall be shut to death. Why? Because Yah knew his heart. He knew that the man was doing it and he didn't have regard for it. Did not care. He was busy trying to work, looking out for himself instead of trying to obey the commandments of Yah. So they moved him outside of the camp and they stoned him because he despised Yah's word. And the whole, and I didn't know you got it. And all the assembly brought him without the camp and stoned him with stones. Then he died as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And Yahuwah spoke unto Ed Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharal. And bid them that they may make for, uh, make them zit zit in the borders of their garments throughout their generations that they put up on the zit zit of the borders a ribbon of blue and it shall be unto you a zit zit that ye may look upon it and remember recognize the commandments of Yahuwah and do them. That ye seek not after your own heart. What you think, how you feel, what you trust. Well, I'm going to speak from my heart. He tell you to speak from his heart. <laughs> uh, uh, talk from your heart. Don't talk from your heart. Jeremiah 17 9 says the heart is more than deceitful. That's really wicked. More deceitful than anything. It's more deceitful above all. Who can do that it? So think about that. Don't follow your own heart and your own eyes. See what you can't see. Mm. After which you go a whoring, prostituting yourself, selling yourself short, Going not knowing your value. Mm. Being used up, defiled, unclean. That they may remember, recognize, 
observe and do all my commandments and be set apart, Kodesh, unto your Elohim. I am Yahuwah Elohim King. Yahuwah their Elohim. Tell them who he is to us. Which brought you out of servitude, bondage. Misraim, the letter Misraim, to be your Elohim. I brought you out to be that to you. I am Yahuwah Elohim King. Hallelujah. We need to stop whoring ourselves. Setting ourselves short. You got the scripture? Go ahead and read it for me. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. Is what? Quick and powerful. Say it loud. Quick and powerful. Say it loud. Quick and powerful. The word of who? The Most High. Is what? Quick and powerful. Go ahead. And sharper than any two edged sword. Sharper than any two edged sword. Than any two edged sword. Super sharp. I've seen that movie. Uh, what? Crap and Tiger, Mr. Dragon. What's the name of it? Crap and Dragon, Hidden Tiger. Something like that. Crap and Tiger, Hidden Dragon. One of the Chinese movies. See, they find across the thing. They get the green sword. You know what I'm saying? sword being a country before you recognize it. You still standing there. Mm -hmm. the, <laughs> the word of Yah is sharper than that. Mm. Go ahead. Piercing even to the dividing, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul, of soul and spirit. And so it goes beyond your what? Soul and your spirit. So it cuts to your flesh, your bone tomorrow, down into your knee flesh and your ruach. The word of God deals with the whole man. Go ahead, son. And of the joint and marrow. And of the joint and the marrow. Go ahead. It comes from the inside out, then, don't it? It comes from the heart out. Go ahead. And is a discerner, a discerner of the thoughts, of the thoughts and your intents, and your intentions of the heart. Of the heart. It's a discerner of the thoughts. It go down off into the soul and cut you out. It come like, you got knives in that. Where did it come from? Everybody behind me. Where God cut you up from? My, I, 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 he exposed you. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Make you make you leaky. I don't want to be exposed. Yeah. No, you won't be exposed. But he won't expose. That's why I don't get in the word. <laughs> so go ahead, son. That's the verse. It, 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 it says, start over from the soul again. I, I like that. <laughs> right uh, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Now stop. Now, now some translation <laughs> says it's alive and active. <laughs> huh? Alive and active. Sharp and quick. Go ahead. The, the, the soul and the spirit. The joints and the marrow. It's a, it's a discerner. Hold on, wait a minute. It can tell the difference. Mm. It can perceive. Mm. It can recognize. Mm. What's what? Mm. It's a discerner of the intentions. Of what? The thoughts and the intentions the of the heart. So your thought process. It can tell you what you thought. And why you thought what you thought before you thought. How you thought. And how you thought. <laughs> so then, therefore, it's a thinker behind, behind your thoughts. Well, go ahead and read it out loud. First. <laughs> read it. Read it. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> LOL jokes. Go ahead. <laughs> See, the word of God is a lie. Mm -hmm. It is at work and is sharper than any double edged sword. Right. Hmm? Hold it, on. It's alive uh -huh. and at work. It's doing something. It's moving around. It's doing the thing. So it's alive and what? At work. And at work. And it's sharper than any double edged sword. Double edged sword. Two in hand. It cuts through where soul meets spirit. Whoa. So it divides that neat. <laughs> It comes through what a soul with the spirit. Let me hear now. We learned in Torah class this morning when we was teaching how the most high, you know, may or may not have a spirit, right? So so you are a spirit. He put you in a body and blew it to your and you became a living knee fish. So not only did you receive a mindset, blood started coming out through you. Blood started flowing through you. Blood, life is in the blood. You became a living knee fish. Blood starts flowing. So the most high, so the blood is part of your soul. The most high is there to put his sword between that and your soul and your spirit. 
He can he know the whole of you. Your spirit, your soul, and your body is what he's dealing with. Go ahead and come on talking. He's talking about your spirit, soul, and body. Go ahead. Well, the soul meets spirit, mm. and the joint meet marrow. Meet the marrow. The, the marrow and bone now. The mm. marrow inside the bone. Mm -hmm. Only kind of bone marrow I ever saw was either from some chicken or turkey bone, or, mm. or, 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 or maybe, you know, if a dog was eating the bones, you know, look marrow in there. I ain't never seen a marrow in the human bone sitting on YouTube. <laughs> you know, you know, the bone marrow fence, fence like that. Most high, you see all that. Go ahead. And it is, and it is quick to judge mm. the inner reflection and attitudes of the heart. It's quick to judge mm. the inner reflection, what you thinking of, mm. and the attitude, how you thinking about Mercy. it, what you feeling about it, of your thought process. Don't Woo! Nothing escapes y'all. No. He can tell when you love him or her. He sure do. He we know to watch your tears, the crack of the eye, tears, the frown of his face, your nose. Yeah. <laughs> you faking. <laughs> <laughs> I done cried hard tears to try to get my girlfriends, to stay with my girlfriend, my wife, <laughs> all that. My mom and them, I'm crying hard so I won't get a whooping. Um, Sometimes it did not work. Yeah, One thing I found out throughout my life, though, you can cry hard all you want to before yeah. the Most High. You can let snot, boogers, and all kinds of stuff come out your nose, get in your mouth. You can let stuff come right down your chin, get on your shirt, mascara, uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the base, whatever you want to call it, the foundation, all that stuff get on your shirt. You can hug them in they hood and cry in their shoulder pit. With the bone red right here, that little bit, that biggest crap on the brick, you know what I'm saying? But, but you let it go. <laughs> Reality is, you can cry like you don't cry. You still can't fool y'all. Yeah. 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 You see, I'm moving, well, I didn't know I was wrong. I lost track of time. I didn't understand. I wasn't there. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do, put you in the ward. <laughs> y'all right now, I come before you. Could you please tell me? Kill him. <laughs> and then get them a zig zig with a string of blue so they can remember my commandments so they won't go a whore. You know what? The woman that we're going to get at the end. The woman with the issue of blood. One of them says 12 years, and then give another time. 18 years. She was defiled, she was unclean, had not been in the temple in at least 10 years, 12 years. Because she had, she had a leakage. You can't go into the temple on your cycle. And when you can offer your cycle, you got to wait a number of days, you got to get in the mikvah. She had been in the temple for a long time, and she was uh, a sinner from her own thought process. You know why? Because she has not been able to give a sacrifice in over a decade, almost two. And here comes Yahushua with a crowd up against him. See, see we, we got to respond to the most high. Y'all worry about faith. Not by touching on his clothes, not just simply the hem of the garment, but by faith when touching it and looking up on it. Everything is done by faith. So anyway, she said, you know what, I tell you what, she spent all of her money. She spent all of her money, man. I'm telling you, come on, see all kind of doctors, all kind of folks, and nobody could heal her. Only thing they did to her was make her broke. Had no more money. She wasn't supposed to be inside the crown. She probably was lumped over. She probably was weak. Probably didn't have no strength. Because her life had been draining her from her for so many years. Her soul was leaking. Her soul was sinking. Her soul was running out, out of her. And while Yahushua was on his way to heal somebody else. She saw the opportunity. She runs over there. She said, you know what? If I could just but touch. She gets, a, she, she, she gets to him at all costs. Taking the risk. Of, 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 of being stepped on. Taking the risk of being knocked down. But when she touched him, she immediately fell. She immediately fell. Virtue come about. Uh, 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 herself being whole. Why? Because she touched him by faith. Virtue came out of him. He stopped. Who touched me? Who touched me? <laughs> hey, look at you. What do you mean who touched you? All these folks around you. They thrown up against you. Thousands. Who touched me? What you mean? They thought he was gone. A little crazy yeah. a little bit. And she said, look, I couldn't keep him with herself. Look here. I couldn't. I did. And had they ever did have told him of what she was dealing with. Because they knew how long she had been sick. And knew how much she had spent her money. So I'm, 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 I'm figuring in my mind, by the rule, they have had to have a conversation. 
to understand these things. Or, or let me fix myself. Yahushua is the Messiah. He probably already knew anyway. Well, he knew, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Anyway, it goes, ain't it? He told them some kind of way they wrote it down. And she said, I touched you. He told her her faith, her trust, made her her obedience to get to the Messiah. Her obedience to touch the commands is what made her whole. And the most high disease he's made for us to remain obedient, not for our, our, ourselves, so we won't be receiving death, we will be made whole. You want to put on the ZZ or as I got on the fringes, with my thread that blew around mine today. But let me tell you something, you can, you can wear the fringes, you can have on the ZZ, but if you're hard in the right place, you still can want to hoard. Here you are out there, on the street corners, you know what I'm saying, and you, you talking crazy with folks. Well, ZZ's on your show, on, 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 on your pants, but you don't love nobody. And, and, and the ZZ represents the commands of Yah, to love Yah and to love your name. Mm -hmm. And the most high deal with this right here, and uh, number 15, deal, deal with a stranger. A stranger is not your brother. A stranger is not someone you that, that, that you know well. A stranger is not those of your nation. A stranger is those of another nation. And they was right, right along with Yahshua. And the most high gave the same commandment Absolutely. to the stranger. Sure and to Yahshua to keep his commandments. Yes. So stranger, black man, Chinese man, Hamite, black man, Turkish man, Native American, whatever else you want to call yourself, we all, let me reveal them to you. There's only one Elohim. And we all have a responsibility to serve him in the capacity in which he commands us to serve him. We don't serve him by our own understanding. We don't serve him by our own ways. We don't serve him by our own ideologies. We serve him by his way or no way. And when you despise what he says, Amen. then you be cut off. Amen. I want to serve him how you tell me this. Mm -hmm. I used to love eating the sausage and biscuits. Made an excuse. I'm my pork sausage. Made an excuse. It's been a few years now. But made an excuse. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> The sausage biscuit is cheaper than the chicken sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> so the biscuit, y'all, yeah. in them days, 99 cents. Right. Mm -hmm. Chicken sandwich in them days, they're like two, a dollar two, or something. Two, three dollars. <laughs> no, like two, two, fifty. No, they like, they, they was high back. Like two, three dollars. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I had an excuse. Y'all, I want to have a chicken sandwich. I mean, I mean the sausage biscuit. <laughs> Most I wasn't hearing that. Mm. He wasn't killed by our slave uh, ancestors eating the bad part of the, pot, uh, uh, of the pig. Oh, they they, they had to eat the booty part, the chitlins. They had to eat the foot part. They had to eat the intestines. They had, they had to eat the ear part. They could get the ham part, the honey baked ham. Most I wasn't caring about that. His mind was on being faithful and being obedient. Y'all, I don't want to leave Sunday. My friend, them, they are gonna think about me. What are they gonna say? He wanna care about what Willie Earl and Pat, what what Willie Earl and Betty made him saying. He didn't care what, what, what your mama or your big mama said. He didn't care what Papa, Big Papa, Nanny, Granddaddy, Daddy. He wasn't caring about how they was feeling about it. He was caring about what he said, and we had responsibility over okay, y'all. If you was calling on Shabbat, get some covers. If you call on Shabbat. Pray to the most how he'll warm you up. See, we have a responsibility you all to walk by faith. If, it, if, if, if we, got, we got to go ahead and go on through. Even if we, let me tell you something. Aren't you tired yet? Mm. Remember the help? She answered, you ain't tired yet. Look at You the woman in the help. You the white woman in the help that was mean to the maids. Yeah, the Caucasian woman. I don't know what name, so I say that to you. You got to identify what I'm talking about. She asked, aren't you tired yet? You're tired of being low down. You're tired of the Sunday worship. But you're tired of being broke. Busting and disgusted by these bootlegged pastors. Ain't you tired of your marriage not working? Aren't you tired of being a fornicator loose and, and wild and, and can't even come to get them no more? Aren't you tired, man, of being ruined trying to go from one to another? Got gonorrhea, syphilis, and all kinds of diseases because you will hold yourself. Aren't you tired of being a whore monk? Tired of being drunk throwing up? Aren't you tired, man, of beating your wife? Upside the head, woman beating that man upside his head. Aren't you tired, woman, of giving that man an excuse to beat you? 
or giving him an excuse for him to, sit to, uh, to be lazy. Aren't you tired yet? Turn from your sins and ask y'all to help you. Repent to Shua. Let's obey y'all. Recognize who he is and stop leaning to our own understanding. Abba, we thank you for your mercy. And we just praise you and glorify you for your love and countenance and your goodness. For you are our Elohim. Help us to walk in righteousness and truth. Walk in holiness, y'all, and not be Sabbath breakers. Not take your name in vain. Help us to know who you are for true and not live out of traditions of man-made doctrines that makes your word ineffective. Amen. But teach us how to be humble children, y'all sheep that need you as our shepherd. You are a master. You are the, you, you are the great physician, uh, Yahushua, that leads us back to Yah. Yes, yeah, your Torah is a schoolmaster that leads us to you. Help us to follow it, Yah, and not live in sin. Help us not live contradicted to your word, Yah, contrary to your word, but live holy and righteous, Yah. In the name of Yahushua, we praise you. We thank you. We repent with Teshuvah. We turn and ask you to forgive us yes. of all our unrighteousness, all of our sins, Almighty oh God. Forgive us, y'all, for being wicked, leading to our own understanding, y'all, doing wrong things. Teach us how to live for you yes. and seek your kingdom first, y'all, and all of your righteousness. In Yahushua's name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Shalom, everyone. Hallelujah. My Bible is a key to survive. Up when it's time to You got power inside you